um, I'm back in van life. That's that's what it is. I'm back in van life full time. I'll be traveling, living out of this with my dog. Guys, I just got dropped off at Sandy Vans, okay? I'm there right now, there we go. Caleb is their videographer for Sandy Vans and uh, he wants to get my real reaction of me going up and seeing the van for the first time, Casper, the Sandy Van. So he is here and he is gonna be filming me. So I'm gonna cut my camera, I'm gonna use his footage. Um, and he's way better at what I, at videographing than I do, so. Guys, I haven't even put my bag down anywhere. Hello. What's up, Jared? What up, homie? How you doing? I have not seen the van since it was an empty shell. Yeah. Was it two months ago? I think it's been a little less than that, I hope. I've been working January. on a lot of vans here. When was the party? Uh, yeah, it has been a while. It was <laughs> like, yeah, January. Uh, so for people that don't know, uh, I was here for the grand opening of the new shop. Yep. Uh, and we've been, that was when we launched Casper the Sandy Ghost, episode one. Yep. And uh, Stolp has actually put in all of his off hours at Sandy Van's facility to build this and your van. Been working <laughs> on that too. So he's a lot of vans. He's been crazy. So you're gonna give me the first look at Casper? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not done, but it's not done. No. Nope. We have a show in two days. Yep. And that's, it's not done. That's. Sandy Vans fashion. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm, I'm, now I'm getting nervous. Is it seriously not done? No, not at all. Yeah, well, just, what are we going to do? We like legitimately have to load in in two days. Well, you're here now. You can help. I got my crew here. We're all working on it. I know it doesn't look like it, but they're all, all over the place. <laughs> Big shop. Not a lot of people. Caleb, you, you actually left that part out, man, that it's not done. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate yeah. you. Uh, all right. Well, let's, let's show me, man. Let's all go. Right. So this is what we got so far. We got Lucas putting Woo! in one of your under cabinet Woo! lights. You didn't show me these before. Yeah, no, there, there's a lot of little things. I, I did some Easter eggs, if you will. Oh my goodness. Yeah, screw the rest of that thing in because it looks like right there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it does. I like it. Well, I mean, it's hanging off the back right It's here. hanging off the back because you got to put screws into it still. Yeah. I understand what the, what the concept you're going for. I yeah. love this, dude. This is fantastic. Sweet. This yeah. is so awesome. That's great. I can't wait to, we're going to put everything down. All the things are going to go down in a second. Um, obviously you have to do these panels still. We got to do these panels. We got to put the bed in. Bed's not in yet. So I don't know where you're sleeping tonight, but uh, not in here. All right. For people that also don't know this, Stolp offered me to sleep in here before the show. So now I have nowhere to sleep for the show. Thanks a lot, buddy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is the scout layout that you're going, oh, legit, there's no, there's no framing in no, there No, 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 there's nothing. Oh, my goodness. So, actually, the way we do the bed, that this is the framing for it. Yeah. And then the sliding platform attaches, and then there's two pieces that hold it into place. So, it's really only three pieces that make the entire bed that just need to be installed. We had to change the color of the cabinetry. Okay. Um, the it looks good. I think it was the right choice. The pearlescent gray did not turn out um, as well as I expected. It was, it, it looked kind of cheap. No, I like the contrast. Yeah. I like, I like this. Color wise, and then it really matches the tannerite gray on the van. So yeah, if you it looks look good. at the door panel and the, yeah. and the cabinet, that's kind of why I made that decision. So last time you saw it, uh, you saw that we had these uh, BFGs on here with, um, the black rhino rims so you already know about that but we went ahead and kitted it all out with sandy van stuff so we got the ladder we got roof rack oh can port i port rack starboard rack I, I mean yeah absolutely at least i can do you could sleep on the roof i could yeah love this yeah so that's the other addition we just got it back from wrap this morning uh no front bumper right no front bumper. Um, we're still in the like prototype phase of that. So we haven't gotten anything that we're willing to share with anyone. Yep. But once we're get that all sorted out. Well, I will say uh, this video is part of the announcement of the Casper tour. Okay. We're doing a summer tour where I'm actually taking this van and I'm going to, I, I don't know how many shows exactly, but let's say 15 or 20 shows. Yeah, we have 22 shows. Oh, we have 22. Uh, well, I don't know if you're going to all those shows, but I know that we have 22 shows booked this year. We're going to be all over the country, showing Sandy Vans all over the place. I kind of want to see the ceiling in action. 
Can yeah. see it now before? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to mess with the crew right now. All right, so we're going to... Tell you what, once this light feature's done, yeah, let's that's, do that. that's it for as far as the ceiling. Then everything is, is done. All right, so let's bring Caleb back whenever we're done with the ceiling. <laughs> We need to do something cool with the under cabinet light to kind of go with the ceiling. Um, so, so I, I thought wanna... you, I, sorry to interrupt you. I thought you were gonna go with some direct. Yeah. You decided no. against it? Yeah. I, Look at you. There's a lot of lights in here. <laughs> it's still it's still pretty dim, but it, it's everything's gonna be illuminated. It would just be kind of like a, a moody van. Five light switches. We have lighting inside the ceiling. We have lighting in the drop ceiling. We have lighting above the cabinets. We have lighting below the cabinets. We have lighting on the toe kick. We also have lighting right here on the counter. Dude, you went with a white one. That is genius. You like that? I do. Well, it's all we had in inventory, so <laughs> that's great. No, but I, I just like the contrast of it, you know? Yeah. Um, and you then- went with the, You went with the gold, the gold handles? Yeah, I thought the gold would really go with like the orange and blue yeah. kind of thing we got going on. And then actually one of the things that I'm most excited about. Oh yeah. Now I saw you working on this, but you never showed what it actually is all about. So this is just a regular epoxy table, but then I went ahead and oh, yeah. illuminated it. So your Lagoon table has a small battery pack right here. And then there's also a charging port right here. Oh wow. So you don't have to go in and replace any batteries. You literally just plug it into the van and charge your table whenever your battery dies. <laughs> charge dies. the light, yeah. Yeah, this is actually a really good like spacer. So when the Lagoon mount is on here, it's yep. not gonna look very cumbersome. It's gonna kind of go with the bracket that needs to be there anyway. And for the Scout, that is, this is super important because that's my table. Correct, it's not just your table, but it is a day bed as well. It's my filler. So it drops down onto bed rails in between the seats and then you could slide the cushions together and have a small bed I could for sleep your there. dog. Yeah, oh yeah, the dog. That's yeah, very, very or you, I mean, we all sleep with our dogs in bed. Sure. Yeah, I do, yeah. Speaking of dogs, on all Sandy vans, we come equipped with a dog you, water bowl filler. I was gonna say, you're gonna put water in your shop right now? Yeah, I mean, we got mop buckets. But, We're uh, gonna do a full tour, everybody, as well, yeah. at some point, this after the weekend, probably, maybe, maybe Monday. Oh man, this is so awesome. Is the, uh, I've never stepped inside of a Scout, by the way. Yeah, well, they're pretty roomy. That's kind of why we like them. Um, with the Sandy Vans, we try to keep the 144s feeling open and airy, if you will. So what, does the toilet go under the sink? Yeah. Okay. What I also love about this is, you can see it, it gives plenty of airflow, but there's no epoxy right here, and that's where the fan is. So there's no like shroud that like, is we comes with all of our max air fans. Yep, we're covering up all the covering fans. It. Um, covering it. I, that, that's something that I thought of when we were designing this, and it's something that I think I'm gonna start doing in a lot of vans moving forward. I love it. Um, nobody likes the way that fan looks. Sorry, max air. I'm actually not sorry. Your fan is ugly as hell. I would also like to see it black. <laughs> I'd like to see them have a black version. Yeah, why don't you have a black version, max air? Make a black fan. Everybody wants one, but you can't spray paint your plastic or else it'll chip off. I got a special treat for everybody here today. We, uh, you know, friends with people in cool places. And uh, my buddy Shaden was one of the very early deposits of a Cybertruck. So Alan, uh, if you guys don't know, he's the owner of Sandy Vans. What's up guys? We're all friends. Shaden is allowing us to take out his Cybertruck for the uh, for the first time. And he's not even in the country right now. He's, he's traveling abroad right now. And he got delivery of his Cybertruck a little bit earlier than he was expecting. This thing is one of the coolest things ever. Where, where are we going? Uh, we're gonna go- No, not, not literally, but what are we doing? 
Oh, we're gonna go, you know, we gotta run some errands, some Sandy Vans errands in Shaden's new truck. Uh, <laughs> Thank the you, Foundation Shane. series. Thanks, Shaden. Uh, oh. We appreciate it. So we're gonna test it out, go for a run, go by Sandy Vans HQ, and um, yeah, see how it handles. All right, you've been in this car for literally 30 seconds. Uh, what are your, now you have a Model 3. Model 3, yep. How do you, how do you like the Cybertruck so far? Yeah, so far, uh, the turning radius was insane. We just did a UE back there, so that was um, crazy to see how quick. The full, this is full lock. So it's that's that's wild. So the steering wheel is interesting. How you um, go from park reverse is yeah futuristic. This thing feels amazing. That's really uh, cool. But zero to sixty, yeah, it, it gets off the line. So it's <laughs> it's fast. I'm loving it. It's quick. It's very quick. We're gonna use the pickup uh, it, because we're, that's one of our errands we're gonna have to run. So the pickup portion of it, we're picking up a mattress, right? Is that what you're yeah, saying? We're gonna pick, yeah, yeah. We're gonna pick up a mattress. So we're picking up a mattress. We're doing a Sandy Van errand in. A shade in's truck, so <laughs> I mean, we could have used one of the vans, but why not? If we get a cyber truck, why not use a cyber truck? Absolutely, we gotta test it out. We gotta test it out. The only thing I don't like is the smallest of rear view mirrors I've ever seen in my life. They have a huge windshield. Look, you have a rear view mirror right here. That's why. Oh, there it is. It's, it's all live. But I know that at some point, Shaden and I, and probably Alan, we're gonna test this off. We're gonna test this out off roading at some point. Space Campers, which is and yeah, Shaden is involved with them. He's going to put a Space Camper on the back of this at some point. So I can't wait to actually try this out uh, overlanding or off roading with uh, with Shaden when he finally gets back into the country. Thank you so much for having this this Cybertruck early, Shaden. We're actually using the pickup as a pickup, like I said. Well, I'm just going to heave this over. <laughs> there you go. All right, we're going to get the the tunnel cover closing. Whoa. And there it is. Like a glove. All right, am I driving? Yeah, you're driving. Sweet. You want me to open up the front trunk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing opens up? Yeah, look at that. Whoa. I guess I put, I put up my suitcase in there too. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. All right, guys, I'm going to drive and I want to concentrate. So obviously I'm not holding on to this thing. It is show day today and I and Stolp, we came in to the shop super early. The crew gets here in like an hour, hour and a half. And we came in early to kind of uh, get things, get ready for uh, Tiny Fest today, which we're gonna be unveiling um, Casper the Sandy Ghost. We're cutting mattresses late last night. We put stuff in. We're gonna button things up today. I'm gonna give you guys a full walkthrough of this van when we go over to the, the showgrounds and we can show it off. I'm gonna show you guys the lighting, unveil Casper the Sandy Ghost. We're gonna get a full tour of this van in as well. I'm going to list all of the tour dates that we are planning. This is a Sandy Van van. It's called Casper, and um, it is a collaboration build with me and the Sandy Van team. Stolp and I worked on design um, and functionality, and you know, you know, especially the ceiling. That was kind of like the biggest part of our entire build. But now I'm going to be taking this van to I think like 18 shows over the next four to six months, predominantly West Coast. So if you are in any of these areas and you wanna come and see this van or see the Sandy van, you know, set up, um, then please come on out. We can meet, you know, with me. I'm gonna bring my dog Glacier with me. So she's gonna be at all the shows with me. Some of the Sandy van crew is gonna be with me traveling and living out of this van because it's just gonna be this is gonna be like home base for me. Um, I'm back in van life. That's that's what it is. I'm back in van life full time. I'll be traveling, living out of this with my dog. That, that sums it up. I wanna do this video at night because that's when the lights really shine. So we're gonna do the tour during the day, but we're gonna show this portion of it at night because I really think that's beautiful. such a bad content creator i'm gonna fix this here for one second there we go we got some light now 
Well, you know what? Let's turn all the lights on because I can. Okay. So this is the van and I actually put it into bed mode right now. The reason I was saying I was a bad content creator is because I did not show you guys what this looks like. It's nighttime right now. It's nighttime. Nighttime outside. But I did not show what it was in out bed mode. Now, I know that we've talked about it a little bit, but I'm going to get up early and I'm going to show you guys in the morning. We loaded in at Tiny Fest and uh yeah, I'm I'm tired. We, you know, it's a long day today. This is the ceiling lights at full blast at night. And the camera might add a little bit of light to it because that's what, you know, camera lens is doing. This is just the GoPro. Some of the Sandy Van guys were saying, not, not some, I'm not going to put anybody on name on blast, but they were, they were worried that this wasn't going to be enough light just in general. And I think this is plenty of light for, for just, cause there's no direct lighting in here. There's no like puck lights. Um, sometimes like, especially the Sandy Van crew, they'll put like, like strip lights underneath the cabinets here. You know, you can see, you know, the cabinet lighting is, you know, tucked inside of this. I don't know what we're going to call, you know, the shape here. This is the lighting setup and they're all on kind of different switches, which is just really, it's really rad. We have toe kick lighting, which I'll point down on the floor right now. So there's the toe kick lighting. And what's cool is they have this little light up Sandy Van logo right there. That's one switch. And then you have another switch that is the like the outside. So this is a drop ceiling right here. So all the the top ceiling is on one switch. Okay. And then the middle one is on a switch. There you go. So the drop portion of it is on one switch. So I could turn both of those off. It's gonna get dark here for a second. So you can turn both of those off, obviously, or just separate. And what's also really nice about it is dim the middle section. So you hold the button down, and now the middle section is dimming. You can see it obviously got dimmer. And now if you just turn it off and then turn it back on, it goes back to full. Actually, this is actually called epoxy that you know uh, we use Total Boat for. So thank you to Total Boat for hooking us up, but. The white light, which is, we can actually just have it off and have just cool colored lights. And then you have the under cabinet lights. So those are all, all different switches. I love light. I love lighting in a small space. I love the variation of light. So when I turned the camera on, you guys saw that I had it in bed mode. So bed mode is going to have just under cabinet lights on. It gives it a very, you know, chill feel i can lie in bed i can actually control all of my lighting through my phone right here you sleep this way um so this is it in bed mode but let's let's go tomorrow morning and it's going to be seconds for you guys but it's going to be the entire night for me good morning good morning good morning we are here at tiny fest and uh you know i'm just staging everything to get it ready for the gates to open up this table lights up, as you might be able to see right there, so I'm actually charging it. I'm going to keep the lights off right now until the gates open up because it does draw power and I'm trying to get a little charge on the battery. You know, that's van life, yay. This is our setup here, the Sandy Man booth. We got a good, good location. We got live music over there during the day. We got food vendors over here. We got people setting up. A lot of professional builders are over here. There are people that have paid to be here that are selling either a product or, you know, whatever they want to, this is just paid. This is a paid location. This, this area is like, you know, that kind of thing. You go back to well, this side of the parking lot. It's a nomad village, which is people that have traveling or DIY or they get to come for free, get to camp for the weekend for free. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, hang out. Then they have the exhibit hall over here with vendors. We got, we got my man Keon right here. You're at the end of the vlog. What's up guys? Hello everybody. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Jared. It's Jared's here guys, Jared, Jared, Jared. Give a little shout out in the vlog because he's starting a new company. Right? Yes, I sure am, yeah. Yeah, he's got Tillman, which is your last name. Yeah, we're Til gonna do a tour soon. 
We are gonna do a separate tour, okay. and, you know, in a separate video. Okay. With a nice camera. This is my my little vlogging yeah. camera, no biggie. But it's not a van, is that okay? It's not a van. That's even better. But everybody's van lovers on there. Uh, you know what? We gotta we gotta start broadening our horizons to oh, other things. Sure. I live in a tiny house. Okay. Oh, right that's now. that's right. You know, so Tillman Trailers. We'll Come give him a shout out. We'll see you soon. Peace, he's peace. he's setting up. He's later. he's right over here. He paid to be here. You know. Proud of that guy. He's come a long way. Excited to hit the road. It's still morning, so I'm still waking up. But guys, it is true excitement. This is going to be my traveling home for a little bit during that time. We're going to figure out what my next move is, what I'm going to be doing next. Am I going back into a tiny house? Am I keeping my tiny house? Am I going? Am I going to build another van? Am I going to build my own van building shop? Doubtful. But am I? Get, what am I going to do next? I don't know. You guys can come and enjoy that journey with me. See what's next. See what. See what's in store for us. I don't know. Come and enjoy. Cut, let's go have some fun. Never done van life with a dog before, so that's going to be a totally new adventure. And I don't know what to expect with that one because she's a head case. <laughs> no, I love her. The best part about this is I get to promote a company that I believe in, that I that I like. I've promoted several other companies on my channel, and I'm going to continue doing that. None of these people ever really work against each other. They all work with each other. So that's that's what I'm all about. <laughs> My other channel, which is they just don't get it podcast. That will be that will be the channel that we can we can not negatively talk about people, but it's going to be understanding of where other people are coming from because sometimes we just don't get it. So that's the, they just don't get a podcast, which is what I'm going to be starting up here. Uh, really soon and uh, I've been talking a lot about it so you know some things that are coming up is hopefully the sale of my tiny house I'm still finalizing that deal I'm still working out the details on that and then um, my trek cross country to uh, to move into this van and start traveling to all the different shows like I said 15 to 20 shows this year if anybody has ever done a show or an event you know how grueling that is and how how much energy it takes and we're gonna see how exhausted i am come august uh september ish i'm ready for it I, this is this is what i have been preparing for the last five years for so let's do it i have a goal to get in better shape I've, i was out of, i got in truly bad out of shape in 2020 and 2021 so let's get after it that's six months goals right there let's go